National Treasure is a 2004 American action-adventure film released by Walt Disney Pictures. It was written by Jim Cook and the Wibberleys, produced by Jerry Bruckheimer and directed by John Turtletub. It is the first film in the National Treasure film series and stars Nicolas Cage, Harvey Keitel, John Voight, Diane Kruger, Sean Bean, Justin Bartha, and Christopher Plummer. Cage plays Benjamin Franklin Gates. A historian and amateur cryptographer searching for a huge lost treasure of precious metals, jewelry, artwork, statues, and many other historic artifacts accumulated over time, becoming a massive stockpile. All of it was eventually hidden away by American Freemasons during the American Revolutionary War. A coded, unseen map, placed on the back of the Declaration of Independence points to the secret location. Of this, national treasure, but Gates is not alone in his quest. Whoever can steal the declaration, find the map, and decode it first, will discover the greatest treasure ever accumulated in history. National Treasure was released worldwide on November 19, 2004. The film grossed $347 million worldwide and received mixed reviews from critics, who praised the action scenes, entertainment value and acting performances, but criticized the premise and screenplay. A sequel, titled National Treasure, Book of Secrets, was released in December 2007. Benjamin Franklin Gates is an American historian, cryptographer, and treasure hunter. When Ben was young, his grandfather John told him that Charles Carroll passed on a secret to their ancestor in 1832, of a fabled national treasure hidden in America.
by the Knights Templar, Founding Fathers, and Freemasons. The clue leading to the treasure is the phrase, the secret lies with Charlotte. While Ben is convinced by the story, his skeptical father Patrick dismisses it as nonsense. Thirty years later, Ben and his friend, computer expert Riley Poole, had an expedition financed by wealthy Ian Howe to find the Charlotte, revealed to be a ship lost in the Arctic. Within, they find a Meerschaum pipe, whose engravings reveal the next clue is on the Declaration of Independence. When Ian reveals himself to be a crime boss and suggests stealing the Declaration, a fight ensues, and the group splits. Ben and Riley report Ian's plan to the FBI and to Dr. Abigail Chase of the National Archives, but no one believes their claim. Ben decides to protect the Declaration by removing it from the Archives Preservation Room during a gala event. Obtaining Abigail's fingerprints, Ben successfully obtains the Declaration, but is spotted by Ian's group just as they break in to steal it. Ben tries to leave via the gift shop, but has to buy the Declaration when the clerk mistakes it for a souvenir copy. Abigail, suspecting something is amiss, confronts Ben and takes back the document. Ian promptly kidnaps her, but Ben and Riley rescue Abigail, tricking Ian by leaving behind a souvenir copy of the declaration. FBI agent Sadusky begins tracking Ben down. Going to Patrick's house, the trio study the declaration and discover an Ottendorf cipher written in invisible ink. The message refers to the silence do good letters. Written by Benjamin Franklin. Patrick formerly owned them, but donated them to the Franklin Institute. Paying a schoolboy to view the letters and decipher the code for them, Ben, Riley, and Abigail discovers a message pointing to the Bell Tower of Independence Hall. Pursued by Ian, they find a hidden cache containing a pair of glasses with multiple colored lenses. Which, when used to read the back of the declaration, reveal a clue pointing to the Trinity Church. Ian's associates chase the trio through Philadelphia until Ben is arrested by the FBI. Abigail and Riley lose the declaration to Ian, however, Abigail convinces Ian to help them rescue Ben in exchange for the next clue. Ian agrees, arranging a meeting at the USS Intrepid, where they help Ben evade the FBI. Ian returns the declaration and asks for the next clue, but when Ben remains coy, Ian reveals he has kidnapped Patrick as a hostage. They travel to the Trinity Church, where they find an underground passage that appears to lead to a dead end lit by a lone lantern. Patrick claims it is a reference to the midnight ride of Paul Revere, pointing Ian to the Old North Church.
in Boston. Ian traps Ben, Abigail, Riley, and Patrick in the chamber, heading for Boston, which was Patrick's intent as the clue was fictitious. Ben then finds a notch which the Meerschaum pipe fits into. Opening a large chamber containing the treasure, with a staircase to the surface. Ben contacts Sadusky, actually a Freemason, willingly surrendering the declaration and the treasure's location. Thanks to a tip from Ben, Ian is arrested by the FBI and sent to prison in Ben's place. Later, Ben and Abigail have started a relationship, while Riley is somewhat upset. That Ben turned down the 10% finder's fee for the treasure so the entire collection could go to museums. However, the 1% he did accept has still netted them all significant wealth. 